Let's talk a little bit more about strength and accuracy, and particularly in the two-point bed. Two-point bed will give you good strength because what it does it keeps the action from shifting around in the stock. And when that happens, then your accuracy is going to be increased. Let me show you three examples of stock bedding. This one has been incorrectly bedded. Let's go to the chamber area and go forward. We got a big air bubble and too much bedding compound has been put in and it's gone forward. I know that you won't be doing this if you follow our video. Now, the second example. This is an example of two-point bedding. At the rear tang of the action, this has been bedded all the way around. This is a good example. We go forward to the second point of bedding, and that is the recoil lug and the chamber area of the barrel. Now, our third example is a full-length glass bedding job. At the rear of the tang, we have two areas. We have it up here for the screw. Let's dig it out. There we go. Let's go to the second area. It's about halfway down the barrel channel. Uh-oh, where did it go? Uh-oh, here's how we can find out. We finished bedding our composite stock and the action is out, so let's take a look and see what we got. Well, we have good contact back here. Let's go on down and see if we can find any problems. Okay, ah, here, it's a little chip out. What happened was the surface was very, very tight to the barrel. And when the glass flowed up, it only had just a, a slight paper thickness. So when we pull the action out or our tape off, it pulled a piece out. Watch for that. It's very easy to correct. It really won't show, but if you want to correct it quite easily, a little bit of compound, mix it up, stain it the same color, put on there, then sand it down. One other thing I want to talk about. And that is, what happens if the stock won't, or the action won't come out of the stock? It's frozen in. We'll say that you forgot to put release agent on some of the surfaces. How are you going to do it? Easy.